Burns? I'll be right up. What is it? Could you fix me up with some fake identification? Why would you want that? How else am I going to get to Grendel Avenue? Hey, I'm warning you, don't fuck with those Vanguard shitheads. Yeah, they bite. And I bet you they don't let go like fucking, what do you call those little fucking dogs that don't let go? Pitbull Terriers? Shit. Man, those things are nasty, fucking wicked nasty. Can we discuss the fake identification I need? Baby, I gotta tell you. It's gonna cost you cash only. You got a lot of cash? Lots of it. You better come it out of your ears, baby. And sorry, friend of a friend and all, but it ain't cheap. And I advise you to forget about it pronto. Let me worry about that. How much will it cost me? I have, like, $300. Ha! Ha ha! Try 20K on for size, shortcake. Sorry, little missy, but fake IDs cost a moolah. I need to buy a properly generated key from a connection downtown. I need an authorized blank card. You're an idiot. It don't come cheap, that stuff. Even if I cut out my profit, which for a friend of Warren's, I just may. <laughs> It'll still come to $15,000, baby. Would you consider alternative forms of payment for a fake ID? Sorry, Chiquita. That urge disappeared with my little legs. No! Oh, not that! God forbid! More like a... a favor or something you need. Don't think I need a... Whoa! God! Shit! That gets me every time. What's up with your chair? Ah, the anti-grav control unit is fried like fried taters, brainiac. Ah, it'll be gone, gone, gone for a good in a few days. But I hope my good friend, my buddy, my mate, Freaky Sales, gets me a new one before that, so it don't fall down. If I get you a new anti-grav control unit, would that get me a fake ID? <laughs> if you found a good one that actually works, and one that can lift more than 200 kilos. Hey, sure, like you're gonna find one. <laughs> what would I need to get you to pay for a fake ID? A new working AG control unit for my chair would be real nice, wicked nice. Thanks. Sure. It's an industrial strength paint shaker. Where there's ventilation, there's life. It's a rickety ladder.
It's a high voltage laser perimeter fence. If I'm not completely mistaken, and if I remember my tech classes correctly, that's an anti gravity control unit. It looks fully intact. It's an AG control unit. I can't pass through the fence without setting off the alarm, or worse, getting fried by that military grade laser. It's a police officer. He's guarding the wreckage. Move on. Nothing to see. Keep it moving, ma'am. <coughs> Damn. Dust. Make the cop abandon his post. I need to come up with a better plan. And being a good Samaritan may be the honorable course of action, but it won't help me save the world. Worlds. I think that's quite enough. This is volatile stuff. I'd better get rid of it as soon as possible.
Move along. Nothing to see. Keep it moving, ma'am. <coughs> Damn. Dust. It's a pretty volatile can of soda. It could explode at any moment. Would you like a cold soda, officer, to wash away the dust? Much obliged, ma'am. Damn, damn it! I have to get to the service office before my suit short circuits. I feel so bad. And I love it. It's a high voltage laser perimeter fence. It's a shard of glass from a mirror. I saw this on an episode of MacGyver 2200. The AG control unit is fastened tight with a couple of big screws. Yanking it free might damage the unit. It's an anti-gravity control unit. Such a tiny device for such an enormous job. I sure hope this wasn't the reason the shuttle went down, or, or Mr. Flipper might be in for a nasty surprise. Hello? Yeah, just come on down.
Hey, Burns? I'll be right up! What is it? Thanks. Sure. Hey, Burns? I'll be right up. Is this what you need? Whoa, heavy duty. That baby's worth just enough for me to get you top of the line all access ID, babe. Yeah. Hey, with this, I might even be able to zoom on out of here once in a while. Excellent. So how soon can you have the ID ready? Uh, a couple of days. Couple of days? I need it now. Oh, no, 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 no. Ain't gonna happen. Shit takes time, you know? Shit takes time. Tomorrow night at the earliest. Can't promise anything, though, but I'll certainly try for the little girl.
stirring up support for their ideas. And Arcadians, those easily misled sheep, they embrace these ideas because they prophesize change. And change is always attractive to humans. Not only humans, the vanguard are using a tyrant to force their changes into effect. They say the tyrant have turned to religion, that they have... Ah, the tyrant. Those beasts are not much for loyalty, but promise them money and power. The vanguard are probably ready to offer them half of the Northlands, perhaps even Mercuria itself for their services. And they have certainly wanted to put their filthy claws on that city for as long as I can remember. Yes, it's beginning to look quite bleak. What about the girl? I think she may have seen the light, finally. She does not know even half of what is going on, and if she did, I do not think she would be able to handle it. Better she does not know. Aren't you worried that the fate of the balance in our worlds is in the hands of a... a child? A simple country girl? Of course. I do my best to help her, as does the mother in her way. Still, April will be on her own soon enough, and then... who knows? After all, she is the one. No one seems to doubt that. The balance knows, and the balance provides. And if the balance believes in this girl, we should as well. Spoken as a man of true faith. But of course, Father. You're not the only one who places his faith in higher powers. Speaking of higher powers, I have to go prepare my sermon for tonight. And what lessons will be taught today? You know the usual. Sacrifice, devotion, faith. The cornerstones of any religion. Even the vanguard seem to follow these tenets. They require devotion through faith just as much as we do. Good night, Raul. Que Dios te bendiga. It's the confessional. It's beautiful in here, don't you think? So quiet, so spiritual. See, I'm no Catholic, but I still like coming here to meditate. To pray, if you want. If you're not a Catholic, who do you pray to? To the universe. To the balance. To the rock in this floor, and, and the air around us. To you, and, and to myself. What is that, Buddhism? It's life, senorita. Pure and simple. So, what did you dig up today? Oh, nothing. Except for everything you ever wanted to know about the Vanguard and Jacob McAllen. You got the information? You found Warren? He helped you? 
Eventually. It wasn't easy. But I know where to find McAllen, and I'm working on how to get there. I should be all set by tomorrow. Good news. And just in time, too. Things are not going well out there. What do you mean? The balance is collapsing. And magic is seeping through into this world. Stark is still protected by its strong currents of logic and order, but Arcadia is on the brink of war and utter chaos. Unless we act quickly, Arcadia will fall into disorder, and Stark will follow. Can't we get help? Everyone with the power and will to help is doing so. But you are so much more important than anyone else. You can travel to Arcadia to bring order to chaos, at least until we find the Guardian and return him to his realm. What about the Vanguard? We investigate your lead tomorrow, yes? If we find what we are looking for, if they have the Guardian or know where he is, then we are one step closer to victory. But we still need to find the entrance to his realm. And the situation in Arcadia is not getting any better, not without your help. I don't know anything. What can I do? By just being there, you are helping. You are strong in the balance, April. And your power flows into those you meet and helps them against the tides of chaos. Whatever you do, however you do it, you are helping. I still feel so... so helpless. I don't understand half of what you tell me, and as for the other half, I can't help being skeptical. Good. Do not trust everyone or everything, and make a stand against that which you do not believe. Just be sure to accept the truth when you find it, and embrace the good in the world. I'll do my best. What are we going to do now? Tomorrow, we will visit with McAllen, find what he knows and use it. Then the day after, you will go back to Arcadia. At most, we have a week. But it should be enough. As for today, relax. Be with your friends. I don't think I'll ever be able to relax again. We pay a heavy price for our knowledge, yes. But try to enjoy yourself, because the hard work begins in the morning. I will see you then, yes? Wait, wait! Where are you going to be this time? We will meet here, yes? I'm afraid I cannot go back to Venice. Not now. There are... people looking for me. The Vanguard? Yes. They know what I am, who I am. They will not rest until they have me. So we must work very fast to destroy them. Tomorrow, then? Tomorrow. Have a good night, okay? Be careful. Thank you, Senorita. And you. It's a baby angel. A cherub? He's got a red robe wrapped around his posterior, and he looks to be in a hurry. I can't remember reading about this particular incident in the Bible. Maybe it was in the, um, the sequel? Nah. That came out only five years ago, and this wall painting looks a lot older than that.
Man, those guys are in trouble. Don't they know that skateboarding is strictly prohibited in Newport? Man, those guys are in trouble. Hey, what are you doing? Nobody home. Charlie, Emma, what are you guys doing here? We locked ourselves in to wait for you. I hope you don't mind. No, of course not. By the way, I think Zack was spying on you guys. I caught him leaning up against the door, and he hurried back into his room the second I arrived. He's such a loser. And he seems to have a personal vendetta against you now after what you did to him, or what he claims you did last night. Gotta love the guy. So what's up? What's the occasion? We want to know what's going on with you, April. What do you mean? Nothing's going on. Don't lie to your best friends. That's way below you. We know something's going on. There's no point denying it. For three days straight, you've been away all day. You've been acting weird and hanging around Cortez, of all people. And then today we find out you've been up to Metro Circle by yourself? I mean, April, for God's sake, what is going on? If I told you, you wouldn't believe me. Try us. We're your friends. Whatever it is, I'm sure we can help. Somehow. I've been... uh... chosen to save the world. <laughs> Stop kidding around, April. We're serious. So am I. I told you, you wouldn't believe me. You're actually telling us the truth. What do you mean you've been chosen to save the world? As in, there's something really bad going down. I can't say exactly what, but Cortez is with the good guys, and I've been... drafted. Look, April, if you're having some kind of nervous breakdown, we'll do anything to... God, I knew I should have kept my mouth shut. Forget it. I don't even believe in myself. So why should you? I believe you, April. I've seen things these past few days, strange, inexplicable things. And my grandma taught us that there's more to this world than meets the eye. And after all, it's you saying these things. My friend, April. I've never known you to lie or even exaggerate the truth. If you believe it, I believe it. And I'm sure the same goes for Emma. Thank you, Charlie. It means a lot to me. I wish I could tell you everything, but I don't think I can. I understand. When you're ready. But if there's anything, anything at all we can do to help, well, don't hesitate to ask. are a few things you could help me with. Great. What? Like I said, I can't really tell you very much about what's going on. Not yet, anyway. Tomorrow, after I've had a good night's sleep, I'll try explaining as much as possible. But there's one thing you can do for me. I have reason to suspect that somebody's out to get me, or Cortez. Who? Long story. But I could need some backup. These goons, these agents, they could be closing in, and whatever advanced warning you're able to give me... We'll do our best. What do they look like? 
I'm not sure, but you'll know when you see them, I'm sure. Anybody suspicious around, let me know. This is kind of exciting, but you gotta tell me, what are they after you for? Did you do something illegal? Not yet. Not really. It's what I might do that they're worried about, but please don't ask me any more questions today. Just keep your eyes and ears peeled for anything weird. I need a good night's sleep, and tomorrow I should be able to tell you more. But thanks for helping me out, guys. I really appreciate it. We're all hanging out at the cafe tomorrow night, April, so you're just gonna have to join us. I promise. Now get some sleep. Sorry to tell you this, but you look totally exhausted. I'm glad we had this talk. Thanks for checking up on me, guys. Sure. Good night. Good night, Charlie. Good night, girl. Sweet dreams. What's that noise? Where's that light coming from? This is a dream I really do because if Cortez didn't open a shift, who did? And how will I get home again on my own? No dream, and I'm guessing this is Mercuria. It smells like it, like a mix between fresh flowers and cow dung. There's some kind of party going on in there. The Journeyman. The Journeyman. Very appropriate, though it really should have been the Journey Woman. so different from farmers and craftsmen back home. It's a small world. Worlds. Small worlds. Assorted bottles, herbs, and spices. Assorted bottles, herbs, and spices. It's their first date, I can tell. They're a cute couple. I wonder if romance is different here, or if the rituals are the same as back home. I mean, magic must play some part in it. 
looks like a really, really comfortable chair. Open fires are so enchanting, romantic, and inspiring. She looks like she works here. Excuse me. Hello? Hi, hello, do you work here? Do I work here, child? I'm the owner. I own and operate the Journeyman Inn. I'm very sorry, ma'am. Your apology is more than enough for me, child. What may I do for you? What's your name? Benrima Selman. I am the owner and proprietor of this inn. I bought it with money earned through honest trade in the Southlands. Tobacco, wine, slaves. That is where I'm from. The Southlands. I'm April. April Ryan. Well met, April Ryan. Have you come to meet someone? A handsome young suitor, perchance? No such luck, I'm afraid. I'm here more by accident than anything else. Ah, oh, no accident, April. Fate. Fate delivered you here tonight. You are strong in fate, are you not? What do you mean by strong in fate? You shape your own fate, and not the other way around. You are what the dark people call a wave. How can you tell? I am not only an innkeeper, child. I am a seer, taught by my mother, who was taught by her mother before her. And so it goes back to the dawn of our world. To the dawn of magic. Is there a party going on? Is there a... Ugh, child. Do you not know? It is the Feast of the Balance. Have you never taken part in the celebration? Unfortunately, no. I'm... not a party person. For as long as I can recall, the feast has lasted three whole days and nights. And everyone celebrated openly. But now, this year, there is great concern about the Vanguard and their supporters. So this year, the Feast of the Balance is celebrated inside, behind closed doors, and for one night only. But there's still much food and drink. <laughs> and you are welcome to join, if you so please. I don't think so. I don't know anybody here. You're not with the Vanguard, are you? No, I'm from... somewhere else. Far away. So it would seem. Well, if you feel up to it, child, you're welcome to join in the celebration. Thanks. What's a seer? A seer? Who is someone who can tell something about people, about events, about the past and the present and the future, just by looking at you. When I look at you, I see... I see... What? What do you see? Most people are drawn along by events, by fate, like a carriage after a horse. But some people know how to steer the horse, to change paths at will. You are such a person, but there is more. Tell me more about my future. It is strange. I may see many paths, but they are all dark. I cannot tell much except that you are strong in fate, and strong in the balance. And you are strong in magic, too. Magic? That can't be right. I'm not... I don't know anything about magic. You do not have to know about magic to be strong with magic. 
If you ever learn how to harvest your talents, you will be a strong artisan. Artisan? Where have you been schooled, child? Have you forgotten your lore? My lore? Yeah, well, I haven't really had much use for my... lore lately. The artisan is the most powerful of magic users. She is able to shape magic and to use it by force of will alone. An artist can use magic shaped by others, molded into new magic, new art. A magician, or sorcerer, witch, warlock, can read and write incantations, drawing spells from the power of words. And the alchemist can create magic potions. He is the least of the four. Anyone with proper education can be an alchemist. The other three require some form of talent for magic. Why do you celebrate the Feast of the Balance? You are a stranger to our customs indeed. The Balance? You do know about the Balance, do you not? Sure. The balance between magic and science. I know about the balance. The balance of all, child. Everything is in balance, and the Guardian watches over the balance and us. We celebrate the Feast of the Balance to give our thanks to the balance and to the Guardian. If our devotion to the balance falters, if we lose our faith in the Guardian, then we are inviting chaos to destroy us. This is what the Vanguard is doing. Inviting chaos. They are dangerous. What's the Vanguard doing to destroy the balance? They are not doing anything to destroy the balance. But they destroy people's faith in the balance. They speak to the people, telling them how the Sentinel, the Fathers, are holding our world back. And that if we were to use the balance to our advantage, we could return to the old ways, the ways of the ancient Earth, before the Divide. Vanguard promised the people power, and wealth, and happiness. But they intend only destruction and death. Thank you. I am at your service any time, child. I am afraid I must go take care of my guests now. Enjoy yourself. Thank you, April Ryan. What? There is no time here, but there soon will be time for you and I. Time enough to be sure. You are speaking to me, April Ryan. We have spoken. I don't understand what you're... And how do you know my name? Who are you? Have we not met yet? I was sorry then for confusing you. I will be Abnaxus of the Venar, ambassador to the Irid Council in Marcuria for a time. I think I would have remembered you if we'd met. Who told you my name? You did. You are saying your name to me, April Ryan. In this moment, you tell me your name. You question why I know your name, and you speak to me the blessings of the balance for my long journey home. Sorry, I really don't know what you're talking about. It is difficult for us too, April Ryan, to understand you. We, the Venar, are not perceiving time like your people. In this moment we are everywhere. In this moment we are nowhere. But there is a veil. Beyond this veil we are not seeing, but you have. You will be seeing. You are seeing. What veil? The veil created in chaos, by chaos, with chaos. It is a dark, 
presence in our future? Yes, future. A dark veil which hides the things that have been and will be. What's all this got to do with me? It was late. You were tired. We have talked in the morning when you come to visit me. Now you understand everything. Thank you, April Ryan. The blessings of the balance to you, too. Did you just invite me to your home? I will. I did. I invite you to my home, April Ryan. My home was in the Mercuria City Green, and you will find it. In the morning, before chaos came, I am explaining everything, and you understood. It seems I've already accepted your invitation, so I guess I don't have a choice. That is what you said. Good night. You will sleep well. <laughs> <laughs>